The original date for us to get back to cruising was the beginning of April, which has now been pushed back to the beginning of May. Personally, I think we're just going to push that back every 30 days. We're going to push it another 30 and another 30. The 30 doesn't necessarily mean that cruise lines will start again on the date that they say they will. It kind of means it's a placeholder where the cruise lines go, we're not sailing now, we don't know what to do, we'll just say 30 days and then we'll roll it on afterwards. It does make it very, very difficult for everyone who has a cruise booked because no one knows what's going ahead. Cruises are being cancelled. All three that I had booked have been cancelled. I should right now be on the Celebrity Apex, that's been cancelled. I had a River Cruise booked for April, cancelled. And a Carnival Cruise booked for May, which has also been cancelled. I'm going through the process of trying to get refunds because I was offered by Carnival a refund plus onboard credit. But I'm just not sure when I'm going to be able to cruise with Carnival again. Carnival aren't really in Europe very much, so when I saw this European Carnival cruise, I thought, yes! get straight on that, but it has been cancelled and I have requested a full refund. We don't know what's gonna happen. I do think the offer that Carnival gave was very, very generous. They offered me 100% credit for a future cruise plus $600 on board, free money, which is great. And if it was any other cruise line, which I could see myself cruising with more in Europe, I probably maybe might have taken the onboard credit. But right now, I could honestly do with the money and I'm sure a lot of people are in that same situation. Just for a little bit of context about why I don't think we're going to be cruising in two months or three months, to be honest with you I think it's going to look more like six months at least until we're cruising again. I'm here in the UK and we're currently under a complete lockdown. The only reasons that we're allowed to go outside is to get groceries, to get food or medicine or to go to work if you're someone who is, say, a teacher or you work in a hospital. The rest of us are all staying inside. You have to work from home where you can. I'm very, very lucky that my day job is in the insurance industry, which will hopefully continue to do fine throughout this. People still need insurance. So I'm currently working from home. I'm very, very lucky to be able to do that. Here in the UK, we don't know how long this lockdown is gonna go on for. I've heard people say June, July, May, some people say it'll be over by Easter, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. I think realistically, we've probably got two or three months here in lockdown, and then the cruise lines will be one of the latest to restart again. It's not just the fact that the cruise lines have to agree to cruise, they need all of their ports to let the cruise ships in. At the moment, Canada has said it's not accepting any cruise ships until July 1st, which means all of the Alaska cruise season has been postponed. Loads of other countries have a complete ban on cruise ships at the moment. Norway, Italy, loads of places are not letting in any cruise ships for the foreseeable. There are so many things that need to be sorted out before we can cruise again. And possibly the biggest one is that they need to sort out the mess that the cruise ships are in right now. There are loads of cruise ships still out there right now with people on them just floating around because ports will not let them dock. To me, this it blows my mind a little bit. I appreciate that some people on these cruise ships have tested positive, so the ports wouldn't necessarily want their ships to dock there, but the ships have to dock somewhere. This is everywhere at the moment. It's kind of a worldwide problem. It seems like a lot of countries and ports and people are just saying, it's not my problem, go away. It's not my problem, go away. It's not my problem, go away. But that does have really, really bad consequences sometimes. One of the Holland America ships was stuck. She is just floating around. She has been granted access to go through the Panama Canal at the moment, but she has got positive cases on board and four people have died, actually died because they were on the cruise ship and they were not allowed to get off. They haven't said if it's related to this or why the people died, but I'm sure the fact that they were kept on a cruise ship at sea really didn't help, which is, really infuriating because it's avoidable and you don't need people dying on cruise ships especially when it's avoidable it just blows my mind a little bit but the first thing that all of the cruise lines and the countries need to do is sort out the mess that they're currently in we need all of the cruise ships that are floating around to have somewhere to dock and to get those people off i'm not saying those people should just be let off there are incidences of cruise ships which have just let people disembark without any testing. I'm not saying do that. That's a really, really bad idea. But take people into quarantine 
on land, don't leave people floating around in the ocean. It's hor really, really horrible. It is unbelievably difficult for the cruise lines and of course they don't want to be not cruising. Cruising is one of those industries where if, if you're not cruising, it's literally snowing. I don't know what's going on with the British weather. Of course the cruise lines don't want to be not cruising, they don't make any money when they're not cruising. One thing that I think is really really nice is that some of the cruise lines have offered up their cruise ships as hospital ships. I do know that a few of the Saga ships have agreed to be hospital ships, which is fantastic, and cruise ships all over are agreeing to do that. It does make a lot of sense, the cruise ships are already set up to hold a lot of people, they've got separate bathrooms, they've got rooms that can be isolated, so it does make a lot of sense. The cruise industry is fantastic at coming together when it needs to be. When there's a hurricane, the cruise ships will often go off and do hurricane relief. They'll generally help whenever they can, and at the moment, they don't really have anything to lose. At the moment, the cruise ships are in kind of a really bad situation with no where to go, nothing to do. It raises a lot of questions about what do you do with the crew? Do you send the crew home? Do you leave them on the cruise ship? No one knows how long this is going to go on for, so that makes decisions like that really, really difficult. At least if a cruise ship is being used as a hospital ship, it is being used for something. The cruise lines aren't losing anything by offering these up as hospitals. So I think that's really, really nice that they have done that. I definitely hope that we cruise again this year. I've heard some people say that there's no way we'll cruise in 2020 and I really hope that we do. For me personally, I think it's likely to be about six months time. So where are we now? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, September, October time. I hope that we're cruising again by then. It does create a lot of problems. I feel really sorry for the cruise lines. Some of them will probably not survive this. Some of the smaller cruise lines, the big ones should be fine. The big American cruise lines should be fine. Some of them are looking to be bailed out by various things and that's a different conversation. But I do worry about some of the smaller independently owned cruise lines. It's a really difficult situation and I'm feeling like there's nothing I can really do to help. The only thing I'm supposed to do here in the UK is stay inside, which I'm doing. I'm working from home. I'm gonna try and bring you light-hearted things on this channel. We did a live cruise trivia last week, which was so much fun. So every Friday, I'm gonna be bringing you a live trivia session at about 5 p.m. UK time. I had so much fun on it last week and it was just really nice to chat to you all about cruising. We need to keep the cruise industry going and happy and we will cruise again. I don't know when it is but we will cruise again. If you are in a position where you can keep your money with the cruise line, you can book a later cruise, you can take a voucher, do consider doing that. The cruise lines are just hemorrhaging money at the moment and it's a really really difficult situation for them. But that said, if you need your refund money for yourself, loads of people I know have lost jobs, they've had their wages cut, if you need the money, take it back. It's not your responsibility to look after the cruise lines. So I think we'll be cruising in about six months time, maybe September or October time. I do have a cruise booked for September. It is a 90s theme cruise on the Morella Explorer 2. And I really hope that goes ahead because I had so much fun last year on the Morella Explorer doing a 90s cruise. I'd never taken a theme cruise before, but it, it was genuinely just so, so much fun. And that would be a brilliant way to get back into cruising. It is really cool to see all of these cruise ships and where they are docked. There's some brilliant opportunities for photos, I suppose, but no one is really out there taking photos of them at the moment. But it's very rare that the cruise industry ever stops like this. Cruise ships really, they don't sleep, but at the moment they're all docked out to sea, just waiting for this all to blow over. My thoughts really do go out to everyone who works for a cruise line. Not only is this a really scary and serious situation, but it changes so, so, so fast. No one knows what's happening from one week to the next. I'm very lucky that I'm here. I'm staying inside in the UK. I'm working from home. I'm not really going outside. And I'm hoping that this will all blow over and we will cruise again very very soon. If anything this has made me want to cruise even more because it just shows us how short life can be and how we don't know what's going to happen in the future. So for me I'm thinking about my dream bucket list cruises. It might not be for a while, it's going to take everybody a while to recover from this but one day I'm going to cruise the Panama Canal, I'm going to cruise to Australia. There's so many things I want to do and 
we will get there one day we will just keep going please do let me know in the comments when you think we will be back to cruising i've heard a lot of comments that say easter we'll be back in 30 days and then the extreme of we won't be cruising until 2021 i really hope we'll be cruising in 2020 again it is gonna feel so good to sit on a balcony with a drink the world's gone back to normal the sun's setting it's gonna be fantastic the cruise industry will be okay just do whatever you need to do for yourself keep as positive as you can i know this is one of the weirdest situations that i've ever been in in my life and probably you've ever been in in your life too but we will cruise on thank you for watching this please consider subscribing i bring you a cruise related video every single week and i'm going to be bringing you some more light-hearted things to just cheer you up and keep you busy so please do subscribe and i'll see you in the next video